Uh, tell me about the fight scene in season one. It's in sort of before we even get to the title credits and sort of dealing with that. How did you learn how to do that? You're flying in the air with the sword, jumping off yeah. your colleague. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Um, and um, the colleague that I was helping with that, Fabian, mm. um, that sword was so big. Long. So he did very long. a really great job. <laughs> but like watching him kind of swing that around was quite terrifying. Um, also, yeah, I was attached to like a harness. So I was leaping through the air. And actually, I didn't realize. So you're kind of in this show where there's like so much, like we had such a wealth of opportunities to like have loads of people on it, loads of like um, gadgets and gizmos and stuff. And I was just being like, they were like, do you want to do another one? I was like, yeah, I can do another one. I can do another one. Um, and then eventually they were like, right, Taryn needs a rest. And I was like, Taryn needs, who's one of our stunt directors mm -hmm. who teach, taught us a lot. And I didn't realize that for this particular stunt, Taryn was just jumping off a ladder over to like again. bring me, like get me in the air. <laughs> and I was like, I had no idea that this, so there was a mixture of like really technical, difficult stuff and then with simplicity. Right. Yeah. yeah. It was the same as us with a raft that we'd have all these like credible things happening. And then for the close ups, obviously you just need a person throwing a bucket of water. In yeah. I literally don't even want to know how they filmed all that water stuff. It was crazy. Um, so I have one more plot specific question for you, which is tell me about uh, Gladriel's decision to jump off the boat oh, instead right. of going home. Um, so something I really focused on with Gladriel was the guilt she's carrying. Um, I kind of was really interested in kind of like, you can't escape your history. Um, and you particularly can't when you were there for all of it. Mm. Um, and she just feels like to me that she didn't deserve to go back yet. Her work wasn't finished. And um, mm. yeah, I remember speaking with Rob Arameo a lot about the magnitude of that leap. And um, yeah, it was a big move. Very big move, personally. And I don't think she she doesn't know she's going to do it until the moment she's in the water. Okay, so let's talk about, is it Halbrand? Is that how yes. we say it? Okay. Why does he choose to save Galadriel as she's sinking? Like, he didn't care about the other people on his raft, but she gets hit by lightning, dragged to the bottom, and he's like, okay, screw it. I'm going to go in. Yeah, I, th I think he saves her at that point when they meet because she's a she will increase his chance of survival dramatically. That and is I think smart. that's all it is okay. at that point. Um, that he knows that there's something about this person and she's clearly very powerful and skilled. Yes. And he's probably, he might die without her, basically. Um, yes. She asks him about the human king and he sort of brushes it off. Uh, mm -hmm. Why doesn't he care about the royalty? Uh, I think, I don't think it's, it's not necessarily, I'm not going to say he doesn't care. I'm also not going to say that he, he cares, but I think he doesn't want to reveal anything to her at mm -hmm. that point. There's um, a lot of shame with the Southlanders as well. Yes, particularly the, yeah. where the show picks up, his people have done bad things, mm -hmm. basically, and he's connected with that, and he will know that if he reveals things to her, she will understand that he's perhaps not a good guy, and then she won't help him. Yeah. Um, okay. The okay. elves and men are not at a good point. Yeah. Yet. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. We have hopes. 